Hey guys, sorry it cut out. I'm using this bandy cam thing, so yeah. It cut out to 10 minutes. Yeah, let's keep watching the rest of this. This looked really good. I like this. This was really, really dang good. I like the crap out of this. It's beautiful. The red thing for me, I'm not really crazy about, man, though. The games on it is nice, but I wish it wasn't a red color. And it goes that little magnifying glass. I don't know why they use that magnifying glass here for. I don't know why. Dang, because it's for, like, to make it expand it higher. October 6th. I don't know if this is ever coming to the West, but it does here in the United States. I might just get the blue and the yellow one, and that's it. To be honest. The rest look like garbage. I'm sorry, it does. That's it. I guess we're finished here. Anyways, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Some of those are really, really good. Some could be used a lot of work. The JRPGs, like I said before in the first part of this video, I wasn't super overhyped about that shit. It doesn't like appeal to me in law, period. Unless it was like something like Fire Emblem or Xenoblade, yeah, I would have gotten in that. But then again, this is like the 8, 16 bit graphics. So it's the early mid 90s. I was like a baby slash almost 90s kid at that time. And obviously, I didn't remember too much, but I remember the Game Gear, like in 1998, 99, the Nokia. Like cell phone smart, not as before they called them smartphones. This is called like the handheld devices mixed with old school beepers. I know old shitty beepers from back in the day. I'm gonna get almost 32 years old, so it makes sense. I would remember some of that shit. I'm an old dinosaur. Comes up. I forgot to talk about this. Dr. Lava Man, he brought some like mega septile things from back in the day. You know, I was a real, real classic old school Pokemon fan with this. You know, this was from Gen 3. Gen 3 wasn't my favorite. Ones like Gen 2, Gen 4 were. Hopefully I get to see myself live long enough to see Diamond Pro remakes. Because those are definitely happening. We saw with the Giratina, Giratina and um, a lot of Gen 4 Pokemon come to that DLC with Cupchu and Urshifu. This comes from Dr. Lava, so I'll leave the link to his, um, his YouTube channel and his um, Twitter here. Definitely got a credit with this man. Anyways, um, Mega Septile. The concept art was drafted as Mega Septile's designer. Was created as a blueprint artist for those who develop Pokemon X and Y's 3D models. This is before Oras was out a year later, I remember that. As for the well known animators of the Pokemon anime, they all know. I don't know what that is. They are all well known for the animators, so they all know exactly what Mega Sceptile was supposed to look like from every angle. That's a really, really nice ass picture. This is from a little while ago, June 4th. At the time you guys see it, if we're still alive, like I said before, God willing, that asteroid doesn't hit the surface. So if it does, we are screwed. I hope to God that don't happen. I really hope it doesn't. Anyways, um, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. Yeah, it's a really, really nice design. It even shows his tail how it was made. Little angles how it's supposed to go, and it has this little, like, turning thing with his neck. And how it shows the little jet propulsion when he he shoots out his, um, <laughs> his giant-ass tree missile thing. To his enemy, to his Pokemon enemy, it's really, really cool. And then some Pikachu origins. That's really, really cool. 2008 Japanese scientists discovered that a protein that is essentially mainly to the eyesight <clears throat> of both humans and mice. They named this newly discovered <laughs> protein Pikachurian because it's not just it's just like Pikachu. Pikachu has lightning fast moves and shocking effect <laughs> electric effects. That is so cool, man. That's hilarious. They actually use real life things with Pokemon. That is insane. They actually named like the eyesight of mice and certain humans and mice. There's an essential like protein that lets us see really, really clear like a Pikachu. <laughs> Welcome to 2020, ladies and gentlemen. This is really, really crazy. The way of the future is now. It is some scary shit, but at the same time, super freaking cool. And it was, yeah, Pikachu, of course, he's the mascot. I wish Clefairy would have been like he was in the manga. Clefairy was my all-time favorite in Gen 1, like, number 4, actually, because the Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur are my first three favorites. And then Rhyhorn, Rhydon would have been 4th and 5th. And so it's really the 5th or the 6th. I don't know. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got to say. Hopefully you watch both of these videos. Um, Pray to God that, that 2002 NHL, NHH2 asteroid doesn't hit any of us. If you never see both of these videos, you know why. Um, I appreciate you guys. I love every single one of you, my subscribers. You guys were amazing for the past 11 years. I've been blessed enough to have almost 900 subscribers. Um, you guys were amazing, beautiful, kept me through the good times and the bad. And that's it. That's all I got here now, and I'm out of here. Links to description box down below to all um, the first part of this video, and, of course, uh, the other um, articles and tweets I read on Twitter, and that's it.
Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls and everyone else out there. I will see you when I see you guys today. Good night, wherever you are in the universe out there. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't forget to stay tuned more for your content channel, including video game industry news, anime manga news. So, anime manga news is dead now. Video game industry news, um, internet news, reaction videos like I did earlier. And hopefully you enjoyed that as well. And that's it. Take it easy. Peace out, my sour crowd. Let's goodbye. I'll see you people on the flip side. Take it easy, and I'm gone. Later.